Hello, welcome back to IG Landy. As you stack dev kit earlier, we have just a quick recap. What did we do so far? So at least you know where you are looking for. We did an architecture overview. We covered our session. We covered another session about who, why, what, when this tool will be useful. And the previous session, we covered the deployment, which is the installation of the tool and the readiness via PowerShell or GUI. And for today, we will cover the task and the tooling associating with this deployment. So let's restart with the Azure Stack tool via GitHub repo. You can navigate to the GitHub repo and uh, you know this tool will allow us to complete improve uh, deployment registration scenarios connection creating folder plan code quota and we submit our basically feedback if we need to microsoft and we have some some of these examples like visual studio code and we have the you know vs code either one of these will work for us and if you're not familiar i think you need to download these tools i think at the moment it's quite popular the vs code Visual Studio, if you are Microsoft focus, then you can use Visual Studio, but Visual VS, it's an open source. You can download it and you can basically, there are plenty of plugins, uh, not only for Azure, but you can use like GCP, AWS, and so on. And in this scenario, you can see it's, it's, it's the VS, it works with Linux, Macs, and Windows, whereas the Visual Studio only works with Windows at the moment. So I would recommend to use VS Code. It's a very powerful tool for doing the development and the uh, uh, management of you know uh, your code so we move on to the next uh, part which is the uh, admin tool as well as as well so with the azure stack support specific version of powershell and you can see the link here uh, azure stack powershell installation vs and then the new uh, let's we call it command line interface cli which basically help to maintain manage you know our azure stack these are the few options uh, what you can do you can do like a running a powershell command says like install module hyphen maybe name and then you specify the azure rm and then you can require the version itself or you can do like npm install hyphen g which means you can do the azure cli these two options like powershell or cli the one which I use a lot with VS code you can utilize as well. Next is the uh, connection. Uh, we can basically uh, connect using PowerShell module via you know VPN or remote support and you can see on that screenshot you know there is a PSM1 uh, Azure Stack Client Connection Tool which will allow you to create connection again same link like the one before we saw GitHub Azure Stack Tree master and that will allow us to connect via a remote uh, and will allow us to explore it now the kit first scenario you can add default vm image you can add a user to the role of the resource and you can utilize uh, the resource creation for the portal and you can uh, retry tenant utilization i'm not going to read all of these but i'm just going to cover it for you at least uh, this will basically uh, highlight what is needed and you can sign up and you can read through all of these scenarios to do as uh, the first you know part but in my opinion i will i'm, I'm into the registration and synchronization and the arm option now getting started you can get started with templates these are templates available and support again uh, github and you can see the arm template through the you know portal and you can download and navigate and i'm not going to go through this but the templates are available through the Microsoft website. You see resources slash templates, and you can download it, or you can do Azure Stack hyphen quick start template through the GitHub. Move on to the next. You can start building, navigating, including concept, build uh, Azure Stack environment, uh, you know, like, uh, and play with the deployment, subscription, and you can have the ebook, you know, around, you know, validation of your environment, and you can POC it, okay? Still, what we can do, we need the accounts like admin account, Azure Stack admin account, cloud account, directory account. What they will do this like account for me, you can see some of them like uh, are very powerful account like ASDK admin can be utilized to, um, through the portal, through the fabric, or we have something for privilege identity and access and command and the DPS around the account, either same right as the AAD account or the DPS, which is the global, and that will be for the Active Directory Global Administrator. 
you do not require ADFS to integrate with it. And the last part, which was hoping you can achieve re uh, vision existing applications start new transitioning to the new app using the Microsoft uh, benefit uh, tools like front end, service fabric, servers, data transmission, and transformation. And then basically do the uh, whole workflow around you know the customization and integration and the migration into the cloud side of it hopefully this session should cover the tools and what we're supposed to utilize but you've noticed everything's available through github and through microsoft website and mostly powerful script to do the activities that's all what i have for you for now Thank you for watching and next session we will do, we will cover some of the, you know, uh, update and uh, plugins and should be a short one. Thank you for now. Goodbye.